If you're a repairman, where's your butt crack? <laughs> My tail's covering it. I'm Lucifer. <laughs> Peg, one of your relatives. <laughs> Peg? Jefferson? They can't hear you. I've frozen them. Hey, these are two of the laziest people on Earth. You want to impress me? Make them get jobs. <laughs> I'm the devil, not a genie. <laughs> I still don't think he's seeing my point. Uh, maybe this will help. <laughs> oh, so you're the devil. <laughs> What do you want? Your soul, Mr. Bundy. Deal! McBundy, are you done with me, horse? Uh, no, ma'am. I had to send out for extra parts to reinforce its feet. <laughs> yeah, that and a sign to go round his neck saying, I'm with Fatso. <laughs> you save your tongue for picking the flies off the pools that dance beneath your arms. <laughs> go to, I'm in a nurry. Oh. Is it the festival of pork pies and pig swallow you're late for? <laughs> While you're waiting, I've got a plump pony out back you can snack on. You've been warned. I am a great and powerful witch. Uh, not as powerful as yon mighty seams in yon dress to keep yon belly off yon floor. <laughs> That's it. I curse thee, Seamus McBundy, and all thy male descendants. Henceforth, ye shall only shew the large and ungrateful. Ooh, yikes! Saveth me! <laughs> and so that ye and all your male descendants will be hated in this place forever, Lower Unton shall always be in darkness, though other towns nearby stand in sun. Oh, will you be floating above us, blocking the sun? <laughs> Just for that, throughout eternity your feet will sweat. Aye, and verily smell. <laughs> Did yon blubber belly curse me? <laughs> I hurled the unspoon and stone in the big game. Had I not married, I would have turned pro. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> hmm. Early to be this dark. <laughs> you know, honey, it really is kind of romantic here. With the rain beating against the window, the wind whistling through the trees. Uh oh. <laughs> Comfortable, Al? Does it matter, Peg? <laughs> Not really. Ah, oh, Peg, this was supposed to be my vacation. Get to work, Al. All right, get my Dramamine. <laughs> I can't sleep, honey. Rub my tushy. <laughs> yep, once a mighty athlete. <laughs> There's nothing. 
nothing there, Al. Now go to sleep. Good evening, bud. We are the ghosts of your ancestors. Beware. You will die in the morning. Run. Run while you still can. Want to buy some shoes? <laughs> Please, Mr. Maniac. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'll take care of you. Oh, yeah, sure. You tourists, you can't even take care of yourselves. No, 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 no. Believe me. I am really good at, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? Housework? That's it. I don't know. I like my place clean. I was born to clean. Dusting, I'm the best. Polishing, legend. And uh, what do you call those things, you know, that you, you push across the rug and they go... A vacuum? I feel naked without one. Then you'll definitely have one. What about sewing? What about it? Do you do it? Happily. Washing? Your clothes? <laughs> I'd be proud. Blood stains, no problem. How about cooking? Oh, now we are really talking my life. Yep, just put me in front of a hot stove on a summer day. Four burners going, grease splattering into my face, mixing with all the sweat. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I don't do any of that stuff. I don't do anything. I'm a housewife, damn it. But look, I feel sorry for you. I know what it is to be alone. I have a husband and two kids. But I don't go around killing them. I mean, I might if I didn't have a TV. You know, that could be the answer for you, too. Look, the next time that you get this killing urge, just do as I do. Grab yourself some bonbons, take the phone off the hook, pick up the old remote control, and remember, don't kill, watch Phil. <laughs> I hate Phil. You are sick. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna be alive in the morning. <laughs> Peg! Peggy! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't mean to bother you while you were dressing. Uh, have you seen a tall, red-headed woman? Uh, I forget her name right now. <laughs> but the, the kids call her Mom. <laughs> It's Peggy! <laughs> Peg! Peggy! That's your future late husband. I'll hide behind the door. You call him. I will not. Okay, then I'll kill you first. Al! You <laughs> Honey, I, I'm in here. <laughs> Peg! Who did this to you? Tell me! Al! Is there any door to get the matter we're going home and I'll tell you this I don't think we're ever coming back to this place oh, let me untie this you know I kind of like you this way I think we'll take this home oh. what are you trying to say Oh, 
What are you in for? Stole an ashtray from the Ritz. <laughs> you? Tao from the Savoy. <laughs> what do they feed you in here? Bread and water. Then it's truly the best vacation I've ever had. <laughs> Look, kid, I'm out of patience and I'm out of candy, so beat it. <laughs> How'd you do that? I'm deaf. That's the first thing they teach you in deaf school. Gotta have a gimmick. Hey, you are deaf. Ooh, you found my G spot. I'm just kidding. You nearly departed hunk of beefcake. You mind if I take this hood off? It's hot as hell in here, and uh, I just had my hair done. Perfect. I thought that might get you. Actually, I can look any way I want. I can be your greatest fantasy. I could be your worst nightmare. I could be my worst nightmare, but who'd want to go around looking like Sally Struthers? <laughs> but why me? You've been calling. I have not. <laughs> well, let's just check the grim beeper, shall we? <laughs> Isn't this your number? Well, yes, maybe I have called for death once or twice or a hundred times, but, you know, but it's just something that you say that you don't actually mean. You know, like, how you doing, or I love you. I knew it. Another weenie turning yellow in the face of eternal darkness. You know, you people make me sick. I didn't have this hard a time with Elvis. <laughs> then... Elvis really is? Oh, please. It took six of us to get him out of there. We had to take the bathroom door off the hinges. Slipping on ho-hos all the way. You wouldn't lick the back of his postage stamp if you'd seen what I saw. Oh, please don't take me! Take somebody who deserves it, like Michael Bolton or... <laughs> Or whoever wrote that Facts of Life theme. Okay, Bundy. You caught me on a good night. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cut you a deal. Yes, a deal! Yes, a deal! Anything! I'll do anything, but please do it! <laughs> All right. Tell you what. Any time between now and midnight, if any member of your family says that they need you in any way, I'll let you live. Uh, it's just all my family has to do is say they need me. That's right. Just once. Just once. <laughs> then I'll get my suitcase. <laughs> It's hot as hell down here. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. As a frequent liar, you're eligible for our express check-in. And how long will you be staying? Oh, forever. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your room here at Club Dead. It overlooks the cesspool. And here's your complimentary Bloody Mary. Oh. Careful, I think some bone got through the juicer. Now for my favorite part, your itinerary of eternal torments. <laughs> for the next millennium, you will be dining exclusively on the most hideous food known to man, weenie tots. Ooh, I love those. Really? Well, uh, what you don't know is that a steady diet of weenie tots will cause you to spend eternity in the bathroom. Why do you think I love them? All right, Mr. Bundy. 
since you find hell such a picnic, uh, how about this? For the rest of eternity, you'll never see your family again. This is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Be the letter P. <laughs> Hangman, I win. <laughs> it's French fries, you idiot. <laughs> You're not too smart, are you, Nap? <laughs> Mr. Bundy, your permanent accommodations are now ready. Oh, great, great. I'm ready, Lou. Oh, hey, uh, Lou. What's down there? Oh, uh, specialty suites for IRS auditors, meter maids, infomercial producers, <laughs> mimes. <laughs> well, here we are. I hope this is to your liking. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Hey! <laughs> what are you guys doing down here? Well, we're taking your body to the dump. I mean, the cemetery. When the brakes went out on the Dodge. Al Bundy, this is all your fault. I should be in heaven right now having sex with young Elvis. Then it wouldn't be heaven for him anymore, though, would it, Kate? Hey. Are you happy now? Mm, no, not until you're as miserable as you can possibly be. How can it get any more miserable than this? Of course. <laughs> Well, I was dancing next to your grave. I slipped on some confetti. The next thing you know, here I am. How'd you get here? It was a conga line. I just... <laughs> Lou, listen to me. I'm begging you. Can't you put me somewhere else? Hey, I hear J. Edgar Hoover has a queen-size bed. Have a nice eternity. <laughs> <laughs> 